Beardos, beardos, boils and ghouls. Today we're doing paranormies. Now my last video, I might have ruffled a couple of feathers. And I'm surprised I didn't have to delete more comments than I did. With people being horrible and aggressive and nasty. One comment in particular kind of got to me a little bit. Now this person accused me of being an alcoholic. He accused me of being a violent alcoholic. Wow. I mean, where did you get that from? Could it be number one? My absolutely clean DBS home office vetted criminal record? Could it too be the drug and alcohol testing I have had to maintain for 22 years? Now, do I enjoy a drink? Absolutely I do. Do I get drunk on occasion? Yes. Far less these days than I used to be. When I was younger, ooh, I used to hit it hard on a weekend. Now I work with power tools, Monday to Friday, and going into work with a hangover is a really stupid idea. And we would get fired for coming in with a hangover. So I don't drink. When I've got work. Before you just wildly throw accusations around, maybe do some homework. Or just... Just maybe... If you've got nothing nice to say, don't say it. And I also noticed that you've been in Mr. Gray's channel. And you've called him a heavy drinker. Hence the red marks all over his cheeks. How rude for you to assume something like that. Now, let me educate you just a tiny, tiny little bit. In my scalp there, you can see a red patch. It is a form of psoriasis. And when my psoriasis flares up like it's about to, I get red patches there. Not at the same time both sides. Normally on one side, I'll get a patch. I get it on my legs, I get it on my elbows. And it looks like Mr. Grey has the same skin problem on his face there. People who drink too much get red cheeks. This is your cheeks. This is not. You have been banned from the channel. And I'm not going to mention the other comments that you made because you were clearly just trying to provoke a reaction and upset people. Tisk tisk. The weird part is you would have been in full support because you commented on, oh my gosh, you commented on three or four other videos I did in full support. But ooh, I spoke out against somebody you like. Therefore, you have to get personal and tell people I'm a violent alcoholic. Do you know how hard it is to be an alcoholic when you're a doorman? Because I worked every weekend, stood on doors, dealing with drunk people, dealing with violent people. Now, if I had any sort of temper issues, I might not be in that job for long. Back to the thing at hand. And this is also coming from a viewer. He commented eight hours ago, Kevin Davis. Since you mentioned paranormies, the night I was attacked by an unnamed mama. That's a movie, isn't it? Mama, it wasn't that great. Children of the Grey, scary paranormal investigation. And he's listed pretty much his own debunking. But what he's done there is he's allowed me to look at this video with timestamps and not have to sit through the boring shite the paranormies put out. Because I'm aware of who the paranormies are. I have seen them doing their feel sorry for me. Oh, nothing's going right. Please give me money. I've seen them on numerous top fives. I'll have to bunk them. I've seen the sheep debunk them. And recently I'm aware of this paywall they're putting up where they've got their own website or something where you've got to pay a subscription, which is fine. If people want to put stuff up on a paid subscription service, that's absolutely fine. But then when people got a little bit knacked at it, wow, did they, um, they went off at their own fan base. I only know a little bit about it, so I'm not going to get too in-depth about it because what I won't do is clickbait titles where I'm like, paranormies are ripping off their audience, stick their faces all over it with that written across the screen because that's clickbait to a bad degree and we all know people that do it. I don't know, me. I've had to make my camera a little bit bigger. People are like, why do you look so squished? It's tiny. The, the camera. All right, so how many are we looking at? 113,000 subscribers on 116 videos. That's incredible. Nice zombie. Uh, ooh, that's... I like that. I do like that. Subscribing bit. Mm, very nice. Channel description. That's important these days. We take you into the most creepy and haunted locations and give you a first-hand look at scary paranormal activity. From ghosts in haunted hotels to evil spirits in abandoned churches. We have the tools and the knowledge to make contact with these horrifying entities and take you along for the scare. Canadian. Nothing. 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 Says for entertainment purposes only. I open this video and we go to the video description. 
to check for for entertainment purposes only. Are you someone who lives and works in England and Wales? Yes. Do you have debts of over £6,000 you can't afford to repay? No. Okay. They get a lot of views too. Fair play. T-shirts, hoodies, Instagram, TikTok, Amazon. We did a huge giveaway of all our gear once we start a Patreon. And lucky one of our lucky patrons will receive all the gear we use now that includes cameras, spirit box, Ouija board and more. Don't talk to the dead at 3 a.m. What happens if you talk to the dead in the UK and it's 5 p.m., but in Australia it's 3 a.m.? Have I just accidentally conjured a demon down in Australia? Somebody sat in the dunny like, holy shit, what was that? Ah, fuck, beard was me playing with the Ouija board. Nothing to say for entertainment purposes only. I'm probably going to have to skip a fair bit of this because um, Epidemic... If you use epidemic sounds in your video, they will copyright claim it. Rightfully so. They own that music and people pay epidemic to use their music. So I get it. I get it. A lot of people will um, think a content creator has struck them or claimed them and they haven't. It's actually the sound owners of background music. Just so you know. This is like a movie. That's some good quality stuff. I like it. So make sure you pay attention to every little detail as best as you can. It might be a little bit confusing, a little bit convoluted. I will be paying attention, trust me. Because I've been told about this video in a comment. You never used to have a beard like that. If this video is full of shit, you need to shave. Okay, so I have just watched their intro. They do a great job with visual representation and storytelling. They tell the history of the building. Is it true? I don't know. Um, I have had a look, quick look in the comments, and it appears that most of it seems true. There are people commenting that they live near the nun's home, etc. So, fair is fair. Warning, what you're about to watch may cause extreme discomfort. We want to warn you that this investigation, we are dealing with potential victims of CA. During this investigation, we encountered full-bodied apparitions and contacted several spirits potentially linked to past investigations. What you're about to experience may trigger emotional responses. If you or anyone you know has been affected by emotional or physical A, please contact someone and get the help you need. And if the subject matter causes you discomfort, please shut off this video now. You cannot say the A word on YouTube. Instant uh, demonetization. In and it's not just a instant demonetization. They put your video as pretty much rated mature, mature themes, violence, etc., which means that your audience is then limited. So even if you said um, copyright A, YouTube hit you for it. They don't like that word. First piece of real activity in three days. We weren't even filming, unfortunately. This thing just kicked on all by itself. And you can't really use that in a video. Also, I have a similar type fire. Is that digital? That might not be digital. It's gas. Mine's digital. You can get a remote. Click. On it comes. And if the battery's running out, click. 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 Let me have some remote feature with the battery. And if the battery's running out, click. Now, ours does also have hard switches, so you can turn it off, off, and then the battery don't make a difference. This is how... Oh, yeah, yeah. This is how it turns on. And off. Okay. It's the only way, there's no, like, yeah, there's no remote. Remember when we got here? Like, how do we turn this on? How do we turn this When that guy first started speaking, I thought he was the guy from Mindseed. The guy who left his reflection. They are putting that in as paranormal, but we haven't seen it. None of it, so it doesn't count. No, we've had nothing. Like, we've had BS answers on, on the Ovulus. None of what we're trying to use makes any sense to these kids. So, we've been... what. Over the last couple of days, we've been trying to like get the kids to understand this new gear because everything she's done, which is dowsing rods, old ca like camera, like Polaroid stuff, none of it like is what we have. So we need to almost get these kids to adjust to what we're using. Like we've been tr trying to yeah. train them what this is, what the REM pods are, 
We had a little bit of REM pod upstairs, but nothing major. So like, still funny, like, you think like some of this might be easier, like because they just have to touch a REM pod, but still, I like, mean, these are they like, don't want to touch it if they don't know what it is. I mean, these supposed to be like young, young kids too. So the children's names we were looking for were Anna, Samuel, Everett, Bernadette, and Erica, and it didn't seem like we were making very much progress until Anna came through on the third day in the ovulus, and looking back on the investigation now, it was clear that Anna was the most strongest and the most willing to talk to us because we only got a couple of other names that corroborated with the names that Brenda provided us. And some of the names didn't come through at all. It just makes me wonder if like the kids are shot. Oh. Is it just, oh, audio's not on. Audio's not on. Anna. I know I had a feeling that. Oh, Anna, no sound. Annie skimmed that camera straight he almost went to zoom in on it, realised there's nothing there, flicked the camera away, and then they cut away to a Mindseed style piece to camera. That didn't say Anna, did it? You've just added that in for dramatic effect. You've just said you've been there for three days and nothing has happened. And now on day four, or is it day three, you're now going to start saying you're getting all this activity that you didn't get for the previous couple of days, which could be how the paranormal works. Maybe the longer you're there, you build up some energy. Anna really wanted to speak and it just felt also like whatever Mama was, was really trying to prevent her to speak. Because there was a story that Mama clearly did not want to be released to other people. Anna, did you turn the fire? Where did you get that from? You've had nothing for three days, apart from light bulbs flickering, and the odd name in an ovulus that you can't prove, and a fire turning on that you can't prove, and suddenly there is a demonic nun, and she will silence the children. <laughs> Bullshit. Place on. I'm upset, Anna. See my shadow. Is that what it said? I just yeah, saw it. yeah. Just I'm, 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 up, I'm upset, Anna. See my shadow. We didn't have the. We didn't have the. the oh, you know, it's so. Sh Wasn't Anna one of the names? I think that Anna was one of the names. She said. Oh, I screwed up. If that that oh that makes me angry because that would be the first name that we got that was actually from the word Anna that we never see. He came up with all of that. And he alluded to the fact that that obvious just said something about Anna doesn't like the shadows or whatever he just said. The issue I have with it is the acting was atrocious. The slight grin as he's talking, the, the backing away as he's talking, it all screams made up on the spot. But that's my opinion. I can't prove any different. And neither can they because they didn't show anything. One of the kids' names. Yeah. And the it wasn't even on. Well, the sound wasn't on, the obvious was. We still yeah, got the name. Yeah, yeah, we got the name. It showed up on the screen, we didn't hear it. You still haven't showed the screen, you've cut away too quick. They are hiding it. So that is weird. Hold on. You think maybe she's around here? Let me grab a Q2. Anna, you don't have to be afraid. This is just something that you can. You still let me know that you're here. You just have to touch it and it will light up and I will know that you're right here. I just want to talk to you and ask you some questions, okay? That is a funky looking K2. That's not an Ovulus device. That's an Ovulus app. And I can't tell which app it is. It's not one I've used. But most of those apps, there is a page where it will read out a history of the last 50 comments. I assume, I'm only making an assumption here that that would have the same kind of thing, yet they don't go back to it. Oh, yeah. hmm. Right, blank one for yes and two for no if you see anything. Can you imagine? I'd have been freaked out if that yeah. blinked. Imagine, does it again? Imagine that. Does it again? Okay. Wait, what? Imagine if it does it again. They haven't mentioned the doll blinking, but now they're saying, imagine if it does it again. Elsewhere. Elsewhere. Holy shit, this video's an hour else? and a half long. Hour and a quarter anymore? long. Okay, if that's the case, let's mic up and let's, go, let's do it then. Okay, yeah, let's mic up. That, that still, again, nonsense word, but Anna is a big one, so. But Anna, we're looking for between, her. And yeah, you, you've got the nonsense on camera. Says yeah. elsewhere. Between Anna and that, that's big. Okay. So let's do it. Pause and mic up. For the first time ever on the channel, we use a thermal camera. Yeah, just set it up on the ledge. I'll give credit where credit is due. This video looks nice. 
There was a great intro, but everything since, other than how he looks, is awful. This guy on camera right now is trying to act. No, you can't. They got some nice gear. And it's crazy to see like what we caught on it the first time we ever used it. We've never even tested one out before. Kill. I don't like that one. A couple of seconds ago, the app said something. We heard it. This time, it says something. Kill. <sighs> no sound. Are they turning the sound on and off in between takes? No. The lion. The demeanor, that, that conversation there, there was just this uncomfortable stop start to it because they were making it up as they went along. In my opinion, I can't prove that, but that's how it comes across. I heard something in the kitchen. You heard that voice or whatever over there, right? Yeah, it, it, to me, it, honestly, concentrate. I honestly thought it sounded like a kid's voice, but maybe that's just what my brain is telling me it was because I'm looking Ken, for that. Well, after, honestly, after Trapped in the Basement, I'm going to be looking extra hard and listening. What? Where are they pulling this from? There was no voice. I know you said he's just been trapped in the basement. That's the first time they mentioned that. With like a fire. Isn't it Hannah? Isn't it Hannah? Like burning the fire or something? Hannah and Sophie, yeah. Yeah. Can you Stop swinging the cameras. I highly doubt it. I think that was completely separate, but that would really freak me out. Let's, let's run a spirit box. Yeah, grab the spirit box. <laughs> I know what that is. He goes into the living room to the left. I think that was completely separate, but he carries straight on. Really freak me out. That's a reflection. Um, right, Ken Davis, fifteen minutes. 15 minutes, 42. Third person on the thermal was Johnny's reflection. Yeah, it was definitely a reflection. He was walking the same way he was. The same direction. And I don't just mean in the same direction, but reflected. It was walking with the same strut. Let's, let's run a spirit box. Yeah, grab the spirit box. The first thing that came to our minds when we saw it back was like, what could we have caught if we had this on other investigations? Your reflection. The craziest thing about this thermal clip is that you can see our bodies walk past the camera and it shows the heat signatures off our body, which is bright red. But when the figure in the background walks by, it's completely blue, which means that it's ice cold. And a lot of people- Excuse me? The craziest thing about this thermal clip is <coughs> that you can see our bodies walk past the camera and it shows the heat signatures off our body, which is bright red. Bright red. But when the figure in the background that is not blue. This is blue. That is slightly orange. And you know why it's slightly orange? Because it's a reflection. Ground walks by. It's completely blue, which means that it's ice cold. And a lot You're talking out of your bottom, good sir. A lot of people would see something like this and they would just say, well, that's a third person walking by. But like, look at it, man. It's like, it's completely blue. You would have to be it's not it's or it's borderline red there orange yellow back up to it's blue right on the outside but that's because it's a reflection of this guy that's just walked down there it's your reflection or the other guy's reflection whichever one of you it is how can i put this politely i'm i'm, I'm a big guy i have a i have a stomach that protrudes a little by a little i mean a lot you two have stomachs that protrude a little not as much as mine you ghosty woasty, which is a nun or a child, look like a man with a bit of a beer belly. I'm not sitting through um, a spirit box session. I can't stand them. So they're claiming an ovulus device. It's not what they're using. It's a mobile phone app. And that is also something that Kevin has pointed out. That's really good. It's very clear. Now, I have skipped a big chunk of the video for you guys, spirit box. I, I can't do them. I've skipped the spirit box myself, turned the volume off, had a quick look. Do you know, while they don't walk down that hallway again, no more ghosty woasties on the wall. Talking. Oh my god, that was that. That room part is going to That's there. talking. 
Dude, I'm freaking out. I'm out you. What do you want to say? I don't even, I don't even want to, like, it's pulling this us there. It's literally just cutting out all the noise. Mm -hmm. Give us something. Me? That's a bit of a stretch. Hello? Hello. That was I a heard female that voice that said hello. Clear. Hello? Hello. Is that Anna? And this is why I don't like spinning boxes. Blasts of horrible noise, and they are like, it said a word, it said a word. But you, they ignore all the other words, and the very clear tune that carries over. The way it's supposed to work is it skips radio stations really quick, and you're supposed to pick out a complete word over the radio skips. That just played a tune for about a second and a half. So that is far too slow, and then they've got some white noise attached to it in blasting, like, as we know, you can set off REM pods with radios, with little key fob things. Oh, that's terrifying. Found. Found? Found. Found? Found? <gasps> Sold? Found? Found. We have, to talk, we have to discuss this then. We have to. When Brenda told us about the five children and the oppressive spirit in her home, we already knew that this was a trend that was happening in the area of St. Boniface. Let me out. Let me out. I'm done. What happened? It says Liam on the thing. And the reason we knew this is because this is something that we had already encountered when we investigated our buddy Chad's place back in January of 2022. Put the, put the camera down because I want you to see this for your, like, real life. Well, let me put this down for a second. Where do I see it? There, right here. Where? Oh, hang on. You see here? You see that? Records. Records? You see it? Right Liam. 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 How in the hell did it you find Liam that? Right there. Burned in. That's not burned. Oh, that's oh, scratched in. Liam. And that looks like it's been there for a while. That is very, very fresh. Look how it's. Look how bright that is compared to the rest. Oh, these guys are getting on my nerves. It's got these burn marks like this. All these burn marks on it. You've just scratched over a burn. In fact, if that is a burn mark or a scorch mark, which it may well be, the scraping is clean through it. It's gone over the burn mark. It's been done afterwards. And it looks very, very fresh. It's not discolored like this. Like this. So maybe this wasn't... This? Maybe this isn't a girl. This is not a girl. That's a piece of chalk. Kevin. Kevin says, The Liam and the chalk mark look fresh to me. Absolutely. It's still at least one little chunk of chalk sitting there. Yeah, there. Hey Kevin, you should do this for a hobby or a living. Great eyes. Girl, we thought it was that was a girl. I think that might be maybe a boy. It's not. A, a drawing of a boy. Is this like a hangman's noose or some sort? <gasps> oh my god! When was the house burnt down? Or when was the house? When was the house built? 1945. Yeah. What is that? Is that a 45? It looks like a 45. Right there. 45. Is that right a 45? 4 5. But it's fresh. You've just done and that. You said pennies earlier. Let's pick it up. Wait. It said pennies earlier. Let's pick it up. You made a little mistake there. You shouted, it said pennies over here, and then the ovular says pennies. There's a penny on the floor next to you that you just notice, but then you throw another penny out of your hand. You already had a penny in your hand before you said pennies and before the ovular said pennies and then you threw it. You've preempted that by already having it in your hand. This is getting worse by the second. The obvious device, which is a mobile phone application that they are using now, it has a history. They've just used it to show pennies. Yet they didn't do it to show Anna. No, we figured it out. We figured this one out. Oh man! I think we figured oh, this we out. Oh, we figured this out. You Thank figured you, nothing Liam. out! Solved! 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 <laughs> it's so solved! 
Everybody, please stop dude broing. It was funny when Ashton Kutcher did it in the early noughties. It ain't fucking funny now. Idiots. I don't know if I can get through this video, but I will struggle for you, the beard of weirdos. Solved! Solved! We just solved everybody's paranormal questions and concerns. Will a mobile phone app? Oh, yeah. I have had to sit through some crap in my time. <laughs> but wow. At this point in the investigation, Jordan's body language began to take a sudden shift. He became disconnected from the investigation, and it appeared that him and Johnny were not on the same page. It happens over the course of a couple of hours on the third night, so pay close attention to him. It eventually led up to the guys deciding to leave for the fourth night, but they would return after whatever was attempting to take over Jordan would be extinguished by their absence in the house. Did that not sound like an old lady? Yeah, it did. No, it didn't. Mama? I, I love how it carries out, and that's when you can hear the voices as it like... Get out. Get out. Even the ghost is sick of you. We've been is, that here the, is that the kids telling us to go? Because of Mama? And we're supposed to be going in there tomorrow? Or maybe she's go, telling us this, to get out. Let's go, let's go run some tests outside her bedroom. Okay. Okay, we'll be right back. How's that for an idea? Let's do it. Wait, run a test? Like, and as soon as that word came through, it's like, get out. Like, the kids are like, don't. He's not possessed. He's as bored as I am. That's upstairs. Is it not? Yeah, it is. You know where your REM pod is. I'm going to throw up. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This might be a bad idea. Okay, there's a reason why I'm bringing this. It's saying get out. And then we thought of this idea. Now we're about to go upstairs and this thing starts going off. Are we being led up there? We probably are. You want me to stop filming? There's about five minutes of this guy doing his best act Baggins impression. <laughs> it's the most boring. Boring possession I've ever seen, or attempted a possession, whatever they are claiming it is. This is rough. So the the whole possession thing, I've um, I'll have cut it out. This is actually becoming a chore. Jordan decided to continue to push on through whatever was happening to him, and we tried to conduct in a new type of test involving a wave shell. It reacts to movement and is incredibly sensitive. Although Jordan was doing his best, things continued to worsen. See that? <laughs> See it's green. Move my hand. It lights up. That is a little bit sensitive. Well, if if Mama's here, come to the bottom of your stairs. Mama, if you're here, are you the one making Jordan feel this way? Did you hear it? You heard that? I heard it. Does that mean you are making Jordan feel this way? I feel like she's coming closer. Mm. Are you kidding me? She's here. The issue I've got with that device that's overly sensitive going off, this REM pod going off, is I can hear them clicking things. There's plastic clicks like switches or buttons being pressed. Now, are they pressing something on the camera that's coming through these, the microphones, possibly? Or are they triggering these devices? I'm I'm more in the thought of they're triggering them. Right. I'm going to have to just stick to the time codes I've been sent here because this is painful. I can't believe I've watched as much of this as I have. What What's going on with Jordan? Why is... You being this way. Everett. Oh my God. That is the second name. Yeah, you didn't show us. I mean, maybe you don't have to because the sound was there. You, it was Everett. It didn't sound overly. Because it was, wasn't doing anything. Doorway. I'm standing in the doorway. 
All right, so um, Kevin has said uh, at 42.50, doorway didn't sound right, like the Spirit Talker app was uh, was connected to a speaker in another room. Um, yeah, they've did, they did it earlier. Now, what a lot of paranormal investigators do, you can see it on them. There's a blue light to the side of them. That's a microphone. So they've got wireless microphones, and they probably just stuck one next to the Ovulus as well as themselves. I don't think it's overlaid. Um but you can get the same app, and no matter which building you'll go into, it'll tell you doorway and relevant things, because when you use these apps, you have to allow certain permissions, your microphone, your location. That's how they work. And you can say, hey, I put it in airplane mode as soon as I got to the building. Yep, as soon as you got there. Your last GPS notification will be at that building. We didn't leave these, did we leave these lights on here? Did we left? I not that one. Do not that remember. One, I think this one is left on. Jesus. Now we all just saw something peek and walk up away from a door. So I've slowed it down. Let's see if we can spot what happened here. Amazingly, in slow motion, that camera is getting swung about. Like he's trying to club something all the way up the stairs, all the way up there. Once he gets to this part of the corridor, he slows it right down past in that doorway because he knows that this is going to be here. Is there a replay? Because if they replay this slower, I might be able to see a little bit more. That was odd. He walks into the room. He slows right by the the wardrobe or closet, whatever's to his right. He kind of looks, but he looks at an angle. He doesn't go all the way into the room and look back on himself. He knows there's somebody still in there. Right, they've slowed it down themselves. So with the way I've slowed it down, we'll get a good look at this. It's masked. <laughs> naughty, naughty. It's a mask. There is a perfect line up here across there. This is a... You can blur or feather the edging of your masks. And around here, they've tried to trace around the area of the ghost pretty well. But when you get to this point, there's a straight line. When this ghosty woasty, which looks nothing like a nun, pops in around that corner, watch this line. The ghost moves, the line is still there for a while, and then it skips two frames. That's a mask. So, uh, in my opinion, that's a mask. I mean, it's not even really that much of an opinion because it moves after the, the ghost disappears. You can see feathering. There's all sorts of distortion all around here when the, mon when the, the, when the spirit moves, yet there are things further away in better focus than the things that are closer to the camera. That's a blurred or a feathering of a mask. For those that are not in the know, two mask the way they just have, I've recreated it myself. You film something like this. The best way to do it is to film the same area twice, but on a moving camera, it's harder to do. However, in editing software, I got to... I've Even though I'm quite new to it all, I opened a door while I was moving, and as I stepped through the door and the door opens... My dining room door opens into Really Haunted's bedroom. 
and the movement the other side of the door follows my cameras because you can track the motion. I didn't overlay the video twice. I didn't film it twice. I just had two separate videos, slapped them together, cut a square out and frame by frame, you follow the this wall. Frame by frame, you move a red line. You'll put dots all down it, and then you just move the dots to follow the movement. So as he pans right, every time you, you move it a frame, you drag them over. You can skip as much as five frames to save time. And in DaVinci Resolve, which I use, it'll actually still be able to track for you while skipping five, four to about six is about the maximum I've ever been able to get it to work on. But you can basically track and map that wall and make sure whatever never bleeds through it. It's quite simple to do. It'll take an hour, if that. So all they've done is just masked this wall twice. And you can see the blurred effect. It's fucking dog shit. Okay, so there's a large portion of the video where all of the equipment is kicking off at the same time. Again, a radio. Just depress the radio button. Um, it'll do exactly what they're saying it does. Um, they ramp up the music tension to go with all this equipment kicking off. I'm not going to debunk it because this is the type of thing that's debunked all of the time. If you want to go and check it out for yourself, feel free. But um, yeah, it's boring. Um, one of the guys is having a lay down. He's having a sleep. Okay if I sleep in here. So basically, Johnny, not the guy that was being possessed, I don't think, has gone for a sleep. All of this activity, he's gone for a sleep. Oh, oh my god. Okay, one of these guys is sleeping. So the dresser apparently is hit hard enough to move away from the wall. We don't see that. We just hear a noise and he moved the camera and it looks like it's in the same place. Then two doors slam very loudly. He's jumping and shouting. The other guy doesn't wake up. Why? Now, is it because those sounds are overlaid? No. So, Beard, are you saying it's a ghosty woasty? Yep, it's the ghost of a nun. It's as simple as that. Problem solved. Um, I can quit the bunking now. It's the other guy. He's not in bed. He's not sleeping. He's banging stuff in the house. They go the whole video with the two of them following each other and they're constantly looking at each other through their cameras to make sure they get the five minutes of fame. Yet, the most activity they get, all of that banging, one of them is having a nap. He's off camera. Because they've also made sure that we know their camera batteries have all drained when all of their equipment was kicking off. This is all staged. Every stitch of it. And it's not even well done. I noticed a few doors were closed in the morning, but considering we stay at a lot of haunted locations, this isn't uncommon. Do you know any haunted locations I've been in where the door has slammed? None. Not one. If you had knocks, I have never, ever seen a door knock. Uh, a door slam. Ever. Brushing it off and not thinking about it again until we see in this footage. I didn't realise any of this had happened. And this is why I overlooked the footage so easily. I'm glad I found it in time, Johnny. Found what? Before you guys decide whether or not Mama really exists or what Jordan and I were going through is real, and if I really had a reason to not trust Jordan in the moment to begin with, I need you to understand something. There was a major disconnect between me and Jordan during the night we stayed at Brenda's house. And Jordan was not himself by any means. It's like I was investigating completely alone, and I mentioned that in the moment, but it was confirmed to me when I was editing. Jordan decided for whatever reason not to ever tell me that he had a conversation with Anna in the children's bedroom, and Mama made herself known to him by moving something in the bedroom. That didn't move. But I also withheld something from Jordan during editing that he hasn't seen up until now. Absolute bullshit. Absolute bullshit. 
when me and Dean investigate, or when me and Mrs. Geek investigate, the pair of whoever I'm out with, we sit here and we're like, frame by frame, both of us. Like, did you hear that? Did What do you think that is? If me and Dean do an investigation and we think we've got a noise in the background, the first thing I do is call my wife to come out of the living room. She comes out, she puts the headphones on, she sits in front to get a third set of eyes on it. This is all dog shit and horror storytelling. And it completely confirms that Mama was with Jordan the entire duration that we were there from the beginning. See me? Because when I was setting up the thermal camera in the beginning of the third night, Mama was standing behind Jordan just like she was standing around him the entire duration that we were upstairs around the REM pods while he was knocking on her door. Kevin, your comment on the image of Mama over Jordan's shoulder is perfect for a top five eye roll. Exactly. It's... Did that look like a nun to anyone else? I mean, it was white for a start, the same colour as the walls. Does that look like a nun to anyone else? It barely resembles a human. I mean, you could see that's the head, there's the shoulders. Nuns are dressed predominantly all in black. They'll have a white band there and a white ring there. There's a black ring there, and then everything else is white. But it's a ghost beard, though, is it? He's froze that image and zoomed in on it, but he doesn't show the footage again playing for us to see this thing. This has been found specifically for the likes of Nuke Slap Tam. This will appear. I'll guarantee you this will appear. So what I did there is I go back to the beginning of the video where that nun was videoed to see if it's on the camera there. There's nothing in the mirrors. There's nothing on the other cameras. It's just that one camera. And they never, ever show that camera in motion. It's a still image. Could it be pareidolia that they've just thought they can get away with? Yes. Could they even have added it themselves to a still image? Absolutely. I can add whatever I want to this screen in a still image and zoom in on it. I mean, everybody remembers the freaky painting, right? Oh, no. No, this is OBS. I can't do a lot with this image, really. Can I? Let me try something. Oh no, spooky nun. I can even get it to move. Oh no. Ah! Look. Now, this is a... I'm recording live at this moment. You're seeing, obviously, future me. Literally, all I've done is drag the photo onto my recording software and change the opacity. Never tried it before, and I've just done that in seconds. So you're telling me that they couldn't get this nun to appear just over his shoulder there. Ah. I'm being possessed. Yes. Well, I'm getting rid of that picture because it creeps me the f*** out. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. This video is going to have to have been trimmed a lot because the time of recording is an hour and 37 minutes. I'm not releasing an hour and 37 minutes of this crap for you guys. It's not fair. It's not fair on you. I'll have edited this down. There was way too much going on there. Hour and uh, 37 minutes of footage I've got there. I'm going to try and get this down to well under an hour. I don't know if I'll succeed. Anyway, much love to you all. Beardo, out.